Good morning everyone, how are you all today? Now, I've already been up for quite a while now because I'm so excited to be taking you all to my summer camp. The time is 7 o'clock in the morning and it is already bright outside. I've also already gotten myself ready for the day. Alongside last night, I got a lot of preparation stuff done because I am so excited for this camp. Yeah, I also forgot to mention I've dyed my hair for the summer. I will go back to the black. I'm really missing it, but right now, hot girl summer. <laughs> but I will run through it all with you today. Some of you might know Ollie. He is my first horse and I've had him for quite a while now. I'm not too sure whether I've spoken much about his background though on my channel. So although he is an American quarter horse, he was brought up with mainly English teaching in his life. Although his previous owners did tell me when I tried him out that he has a little bit of experience with Weston, which I thought was pretty cool. I have already brushed him down and washed him all up so he's ready to be the best looking boy at the camp. But hey bud. <laughs> Over here at the trailer, we have already locked up our gear for the next few days, tack, cleaning supplies, food, etc. And most importantly, some treats. And over here in the back of the car, I've already got my own riding clothes packed and ready. Alright, I am currently packing for camp and I don't know if this is just me, but whenever I start packing, I feel like I need to try everything on and make sure everything fits before I take it, make some outfits, but I'm going away for three days. It is the shorter of the camps this location offers, but because of its type of camp, I didn't want to take Ollie in and have him not enjoy it and have to deal with it for an entire week or more. It's time to get the star of the show loaded up and we can head off. Try to keep it a little bit of a secret of what camp we're actually going to 
But now's the time. For the next three days, uh, Ollie and I are attending the Starshine Ranch Western Rodeo, which isn't actually a rodeo, it's, it's just a camp. But at this camp, we will be learning about ranch life, caring for animals besides horses, whilst also learning about horsemanship and some western riding terms. I'm not too sure how much I'm going to be able to film, but I am going to try and capture as much as possible. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Buzz crazy, but things are finally right. We have just arrived and now it is time to take Ollie to his stall. Most riders arrive a day or two early to get settled in, so real camp doesn't actually start until tomorrow. Before the sun goes completely down, I wanted to give you a quick tour of the ranch. There are three main entrances to the ranch. We came through the back entrance, but there's also two front entrances. <laughs> that you can see our camp leader Josh this is our outdoor eating area which also has a little store the large arena where our lessons will take place and there's also competitions run here sometimes. Over here we have Sail Horses. Starshine Ranch is known for their fantastic American Quarter Horses. Behind me you can see a store where Starshine Ranch sells their own clothing brand of mostly western stuff. Over here we've got the main barn where there's some horses inside. I believe this might be for long term or anything. I'm not sure but all I know is the camp horses are not being stored there. Stored there? Oh my gosh, I didn't mean it like that. Here we have the main house. There's also an indoor eating area if it's ever terrible weather outside but this is where the ranch owner family lives. Over here is a stage. It's used from anything from dancing, which is currently being used right now, to setting up some fun board games or even a more formal dining area, if you will. <laughs> Over here we have one of my favorite areas, it is the on-site ranch veterinarian. Why did I attempt to even say it? It's the vet, okay? This is, this is the vet. Over here we have the round pen, which is used for the vet rehabilitation things, but also for any smaller lessons and drills and stuff. Here we have a couple of horse paddocks, uh, which are outside chilling areas for the horses we all know what a pasture is paddock you guys know over here we have the outdoor stable area where ollie is being kept for the next three days he's currently by himself but i'm sure in just the next few hours there is going to be horses either side of him 
Over here we have Mary, and Mary looks after of the ranch animals. We have sheep. I mean, they have sheep, they have cows, and they also have chickens. Oh my gosh, how cute! These are the cabins, and I absolutely love where they are located because they're literally just up the hill from the stools, so I can basically see Ollie from the window. Now, I'm afraid I'm too shy to ask to film any of my roommates, and I'm just basically too shy to film in public, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. The first day of camp isn't going to be anything special. After breakfast, we are going to be given a lesson on Western tech, Western history, things like that. And I'm really excited. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to the barn. Today, I wanted to talk about the differences between English and Western. Now, they are two entirely different disciplines and there are also a lot of sub-disciplines within each of those two. This is a lighter leather. This is not in style right now. They prefer dark leather headstalls at the moment. There's several kinds of reins that you can have, but this one is just one style. You can have braided, you can have solid. People change their minds depending on what works the best for them. They are always connected. You can see there's a buckle on the top and they hang just in case you fall off going over. After that, we had to go and tack up our horses. Talking about yourself and you make me smile. I can listen all night long. I tell you about the town when I first met you. Listen to a favorite song. Walking on the street when you caught my eyes. Something about the way you move. No, that ain't nobody like. That ain't nobody like. So lucky to be yours. Whilst we do some writing, I thought I'd talk more about the fact that I'm writing Ollie Weston. Since he isn't completely trained in Weston, it can be dangerous doing two separate disciplines. Don't ask me about the technicalities, like I'm just going by the professionals, but speaking of professionals, I wouldn't do this without a professional around me and helping me to correctly train-ish Ollie. As I mentioned, he has done some Western training in the past, and I think that already comes through in his English writing anyways. I just wanted to assure anyone that was worried that the professionals know what they are doing and although I don't see myself doing a lot of western in the future, I still wanted to give this camp a little go. <laughs>
Unfortunately, I didn't film this, but my favorite part of the day was when we got to visit the on-ranch vet. She actually told us a lot about what kind of work she does on the ranch, her typical day, and some things like that. I found it really interesting, but the day went so quickly and I only touched on the surface on what really went on. But I think this video is getting long enough. If you want to see the second and third day, let me know in the comments below. I know tomorrow we are going to be ranchers, 5am start, herding animals and meeting some more of the resident horses so with that being said please remember to like and subscribe but i hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you all so much for watching bye to be understood it's a shame